the power of prayer. Prayer is one of the most overlooked arsenal given by God to the church, the government, family, and the military. However, prayer is a very destructive force applicable in every circumstances. Moreover, prayer possesses the ability to change any situation or condition. There is no limit to prayer. We can move mountains, barricades, embargoes, break generational curses, and manipulate unfavorable circumstances coming against us. Let's take a look at some of the most devastated weaponry used by militaries worldwide. The Archer Artillery System, weapons of mass destruction, atomic bombs, nuclear weapons, and nukes. However, the weapons of mass destruction mentioned above are no comparison with the power of effectual prior. Prior conquers all. Prior is above all the world's most dangerous arsenals. Elijah used prior to shut up the heavens for three and a half years that no rain should fall. He used prior again to open the heavens and the rain came forth, James 5. In 2 Kings 20, the Lord told Isaiah the prophet to tell Ezekiah to set his house in order because he was going to die. So Ezekiah prayed earnestly and God told Isaiah, tell Ezekiah I will add 15 more years to his life. Prior acquires the ability to manipulate the ads against you and create astonishing victory when it is administrated rightly. Many generations have repeatedly proven prior to capture great conquests in the body of Christ. Prior is undisputed weaponry. Therefore, you and I must pray effective priors to experience the benefits of the power of prior. Several individuals in the Bible that wrought victory by praying effectively. One, Jonah. Two, Paul and Silas. And three, the church. Right now, you might be facing a situation that is bigger than you, but don't write yourself off. God and prior equals victory. It could be finance, marriage, sickness, children in trouble, bankruptcy, loss of a loved one. Whatever the situation is, God can fix it. Jonah chapter 2, 1, 2, and 10. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, is God out of the belly of the fish and said, I cry by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell. I cried and thou hearest my voice. 10. And the Lord spake unto the fish and it vomited out Jonah upon the land. The power of prayer is able to liberate you from any prison, whether it's physical or spiritual. It could be an addiction, a curse, or any struggle. Acts 16, 25 to 31. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praise unto God, the God of heaven. And suddenly there came a great earthquake that shook the foundation of the prison and the doors were opened. Everyone that was bound was loose. That is the power that is associated with effective prior. Finally, in Acts 12, it pleased Herod to kill James, the brother of John. Therefore, he captured Peter and delivered him in the hands of 16 soldiers to watch him. Herod intended to kill Peter the same way he did to James. Acts 12, 5, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prior was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Thus, an angel was descended from heaven to rescue Peter and bring him out. Therefore, today I'm here to encourage you. You never want to neglect the weapon of prior again. Whatever you are going through, access the power that lies in prior. God is not partial. If he did it for others, he will do it for you. Be encouraged. Stand your ground in prior. It is a weapon of mass destruction. Use it. This is Chris Robinson. See you in the next video.